Hello everybody! Today I'm gonna do this personal annual financial review thing for my term year 24-25 meaning from July 2019 to June 2020 how much I've earned and how much I've spent in total I was actually very inspired by the uh, Millennial Money series but obviously we are not in that location or under that demographic so this gonna do it myself I mean I studied accounting I'm in an accounting firm I don't need nobody to do it for me I can do it for myself <laughs> okay I'm just being salty okay I was really hoping that every time I watch those series and then I also follow the uh, Graham show it's like this series where they just like review and talk about millennial money I mean if you are coming to Singapore, please review me <laughs> Let's start In July, I actually uh, had a mini increment for working for a year and I also had a bonus from working for like 11 months which is almost a year in the firm so they actually gave me a prorated bonus of around 2 months Total salary and bonus amounted to be around 42.9k So from this 42.9 income from my salary and bonuses um, As a Singaporean, I actually have to like deposit 20% into my CPF So that leaves me the other 80% And with this take home 80% I actually have fixed expenses and fixed expenses like insurance I have to pay around 375 or 375.5 every month uh, I also have um, to pay my parents it's more like a give back thing it's like a family tradition so I kind of need to do it so I actually give them $200 every month and then my phone bills is around $60 every month so in total that will be around 635.5 which is around 25% of my take home pay for my fixed expenses and then I also deposit $700 into save as you earn that is like a deposit scheme from my bank and I'm left with around another 50% of my take home income for variable expenses and from this 1200 around there ish I usually spend around $120 on transport on average and around $800 for food $70 for grooming every month that will leave me with around 200 to 250 dollars for others which means I can take this 250 dollars for shopping or for miscellaneous items or for emergency things like that for last year term 24-25 uh, I actually did travel twice to once to Bhutan and another once to Japan and for Bhutan, I spent around 4000 to 4500 And then for Japan, I spent around $2,000 plus Which is around 6500 for big ticket items If I was also investing in my personal development for talent So I started picking up violin back when uh, I was around 23-ish Yeah, so I'm an adult beginner violinist In total for violin, I actually spent around 2200 to 300 Because I bought a new handmade violin It's super beautiful and thankfully my father um, subsidized uh, $500 for me So I end up paying around 700 plus for a handmade violin Another big ticket item was my wisdom tooth I actually had to extract another of my wis wisdom tooth uh, in last term And that was around 1k Thankfully, from the 20% deposit 
of my salary, some amount is actually to Medisave, which is for um, surgeries or accidents or injuries or if I were to be hospitalized, things like that. And there was 1k. So actually, if you add up all those big ticket items, right, it's definitely more than 200 or 250 dollars per month floating save, floating variable liquid. I think in total, I have around like $3,000 of income from others. Thank you for my sugar daddy. I love each and every one of you. If you want to like hang out more, you can just slide into my DMs and I set rates of around like $300 per hour for talking and entertaining you as your company. Around $3,000 from other incomes that includes like the government grants or like my uncle money. <laughs> Or like, I also just started to um, invest when I was in from 24, 25. I think my current net worth is around 50k. If I want to talk about my assets, my minus liabilities, including my non-current assets, that is not the amount of money I have in my bank. But if I were to include my CPF. And I would just disregard my Medisafe and Medishoe because I just feel like it okay. But if I would just include my CPF because I want to buy a house in future and include my bank account and other like stocks, which I don't really have a lot, but like deposits, my net worth is around 50k and I'm hoping to push that to 100k by the end of next term which I don't really know if it's even possible maybe not I have no idea but I can only try and dividend income is something that I really want to build upon because now I only have a job I don't really have like other side hustles and I would really want to receive around like how much if I could receive $50 every month it's not a lot but I would be really happy I feel like I need to work my way there to build a dividend income when I retire or whatnot. Also, I think it's COVID now, so I managed to save a lot of money in the past two months. I've been eating a lot more at home. So usually I actually spend my breakfast, lunch, dinner and supper outdoors because my family don't really cook and my mom can't really cook very well. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, saving money is also one thing that I really want to do better. Like, those coffees are really not worth it. But the thing is, I'm also planning to take on grade 5. I wanted to take this year during September, but obviously it got postponed due to Corona. So the UK um, judges are not going to fly into Singapore to do the ABRSM exams. I'm going to do it next March, the earliest session. And I'm planning to put aside around 2k for the lesson. Yeah. So that is all for my annual financial review. I will check with you next year if I'm still doing this. Okay, thanks for watching. If I don't really know what kind of videos I should continue posting, but if you have any ideas or if there's anything you want to see, you can comment down below or just like slide me sign in my DMs and let me know. I will be very very grateful about it. As usual, please like to support my algorithm if you are too shy to comment. <laughs> and if you watch till here, kudos to you. I don't really know if I can even watch myself talking for a very long period of time. But thanks for watching. See you. Bye.